Before Halo Infinite has even come out, we have been graced with not one, but two blind bag series. And I'm sure we'll get even more before this game drops. Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. This video just fills me with joy. I've got the blind bags for Halo Infinite series one and two, right in front of me in all of their glory. And I'm gonna run down what I think works from each series, and then I'm gonna decide which is my favorite, which is actually a very difficult decision. I've not totally made up my mind yet. It's split right down the middle, Infinite Series 1 on one side, and Infinite Series 2 on the other. Wow, this is, this is absolutely excellent. I've decided to do this best. I'm going to compare one figure after another side by side, and each one I'll tally up a vote for either side and by the end, we'll have decided series one or series two. So I think the best way to start off is with the micro builds. These are the ultra rares of the set, Pelican, versus the Phantom. It's very iconic that we'd include these two. I mean, the Pelican and the Phantom are arguably the most iconic vehicles from each UNSC or Covenant, now banished. I must say, the Pelican always won it for me. I've built about six of these now and given probably the equal amount away. And this Pelican, I thought, was just a phenomenal build. I've not built the Halo building box Pelican yet, but this one, it stole my heart from the very beginning. I've always wanted a micro Pelican and it just delivered it every single way. But then this Phantom, I built this yesterday and it just impressed me so much. Especially this little fin on the back I think is so cute. It's a bit flimsy, like it can come apart quite easily and it, it, it just fits in the palm of your hand so well. It's like rounded off in like almost like a circular shape and I, I love it so much. And then both of them include this nice rod that sort of gives you easy access to a lot of posability. You can swing it either side and really it's, it's it's a, it's a very difficult one to start off with because I love them both so much. I have always wanted to have this little micro pelican. It's a lot longer. It is a little more bulky and fleshed out in some ways. So in this one, it's gonna be a tight squeeze, but I'm gonna give it to the pelican today. Pelican earns the first point for series one. Moving on now to the ACs of the set. We've got two of them, and funnily enough, they're the common figures of the series, but never mind. We've got the Spartan Master Chief with Infinite Series 1, and the Spartan Trailblazer with Series 2. Now, this also puts me in a difficult situation. This video is never going to be easy. I've got, on one hand, the iconic Master Chief. You cannot have a Mega Construct series without bringing in the new Master Chief in AC. But then, on the other hand, we've got the Spartan Trailblazer, a brand new armor. It's the first Trailblazer that I've been able to package on this channel and it has the bulldog shotgun beautiful design but if you watch the video this one would not go together very well like honestly the pieces just would not fit together the helmet is also like more of a glassed over sort of ac it's not the full ac the rest is the armor like you can see this master chief helmet is pretty much fully transparent this one not so much but the trailblazer is such an epic armor i love this shotgun today though i've got to give credit to mega constructs for including a Master Chief in Series 1. It just, it's such a nod back to the original Series 1 blind bags where the first AC Spartan we ever got was a Spartan, basically the Master Chief. It was a Halo Wars Spartan, but all the same. And uh, I just, I have to give credit where credit's due to having a Master Chief in the first series of Halo Infinite blind bags. This one, I'm afraid, is also going to go to Series 1. But Series 2 is not out of the running just yet, not by a long shot. Next, we've got the blue Spartans from the series. We've got the Spartan Mark 7 versus the Spartan Mark 5B. Like this Noble 6, like Noble 6 meets George. This is an outstanding figure. I love the silver piping on his chest. I love how both of the shoulders are actually both different armors and also different colors. And Mega Constructs has actually done this in a very clever way. The blue of this shoulder matches the rest of the armor, but then the gray of this shoulder matches the second half of each of the limbs. You can actually see that the limbs change color halfway through to this dark gray. And then they've sort of acknowledged that by matching it with the right shoulder piece. And the Mark 7, I was looking forward to getting a Mark 7 at the time, but it is quite lacking in detail. And then I'll also note that the helmet is a different shade of blue to the rest of the armor, which is a little bit jarring. It's got a nice gold visor and the brute shot is a cool addition, but I'm gonna give this one to Noble Six meets George, whatever this Spartan is, the Mark 5. 
5B. You've won the first slot for Halo Infinite Series 2. It's 2-1, and let's go into the grunts. <laughs> little ongoys. How you doing today, boys? So this is not really a fair competition. This grunt comes with actual Mega Block studs for his backpack, which I think is really clever. And then his helmet has a load of different colored detailings inside, especially the little ring on his mouthpiece. Then he has a lot of different colors running through his armor as well. The plasma grenades are this new sort of blue crackling effect, which means they sort of like run a different color through it, like melt it through the mold. So every single grenade looks different and it's glassed on the inside out. So compare that to this grunt, which uh, we called this Tony in the last video. Compare this to Tony, it is just a basic grunt. They didn't change the mold from the Combat Evolved grunt, so it is exactly the same. But I think everyone will definitely agree that the Assault form Billy the Grunt wins another mark for Halo Infinite Series 1. So that's 3-1. You better be catching up, guys. And I think you might do when it comes to these two elites here. Now, this was also a very difficult one for me to decide because this elite, I was so impressed with when I first unpackaged it. It's this metallic purple that perfectly matches the metallic red that we got in one of the new gear packs. Ah, it's just fantastic. This purple is wonderful and also you can see the energy sword. This is the crackling blue effect I was talking about. Here is another energy sword that was released in the exact same Elite, but a different bag. And you can see that because of this weird new melty blue effect, you get a different energy sword in each bag. So that's a huge props to Mega Constructs. But this one, and it's funny because I was kind of hating on this Elite at first because we'd had so many Ultras already this year, Silver and Cream. But this one actually stands out from the crowd. This is like a Covert Ops Elite Ultra. It has a different shade neck and his skin tone changes halfway down through each of the limbs. He's got this really nice blue eyepiece. I'm a big sucker for stealth op figures of any kind. I'm going to award this one very closely to the Elite Ultra today. And this Elite, I mean, I, I really have to give it an honorable mention. It was an awesome figure. But this Elite Ultra brings it to a 3 to 2. We're almost tied. Let's go into the next two figures. These yellow Spartans. Now, this is, I mean, these are all genuinely really high quality figures, so it is hard to judge. I've been really in love with the Gungnirs this year. This very much accentuates, I mean, both of them actually really show that changing the color of the limbs halfway down the armor is an excellent choice. And this Gungnir does come with a really detailed helmet. Comes with a very basic carbine that we've been rocking for like 10 years. But then this Anubis, at first when I unpackaged it yesterday, I was a little jarred that like the color of the helmet is different from the undersuit. But the more I've handled it, the more I've really fallen in love with this Anubis. The Gungnir will always have a very special place in my heart, but there have been countless cool Gungnirs this year, especially the Halo building box Gungnir. So this one, very narrowly again, I'm going to award to the Anubis, because I think it's very cool that Mega Constructs is revealing so many new armors in their blind bag series. And that brings it to a straight 3-3 tie. We've got two more sets of figures to battle it out. The first one is the Marine versus Spartan CQC. Whoa, there he goes. The Marine versus Spartan CQC. Now, this is also a very tough choice. The Marine, I'm loving that we can army build these basic Halo Infinite Marines, but I was very disappointed when I opened this to find out that it doesn't come with any shoulders or a backpack, which compared to many, many old Marines, that's actually really lacking. It comes with this assault rifle, which is awesome, and it has the removable scope, but other than that, I mean, it's a very basic Marine. The gold visor on his goggles is really nice. I said if you bought a load of these Marines and a load of the Marine gear packs, then you would be able to really nicely pop and swap and use this as like a basic template for all your spare gear pack pieces. Aside from that, it is is a basic marine. This CQC, on the other hand, I am in love with the shoulder, again, matching the lower limb pieces. The bronze visor reminds me of Halo Reach. I mean, the whole figure does. And the Spartan CQC is a very underrepresented Spartan in generally all of the lore, but I've really enjoyed it in Halo Heroes. I'm really enjoying it now, and I'm gonna award it four points to Halo Infinite Series 2. And that brings Halo Infinite Series 2 to the lead. They've took the lead on this close competition, and the final two figures are the AC Brohammer versus the Banished Jackal. And I think this one is a very divisive one for the community because a lot of people rally behind this Brohammer. They think it's such an amazing figure, and so do I. But 
it is just an AC figure. This Jackal has a lot to offer. It's got this glassed over shield effect, meaning all the shields will be different. It's got some really nice details on his face. The hair looks very brought to life with that sort of dark crimson color. Then the armor, that red is just gorgeous. The skin tone moves all the way through the arms. He's got a very cool banished pistol. I think he's gonna take the lead on this one. The bro hammer's amazing, but I commented when I first opened this series that you're getting a series full of eight figures. There's no chase figures and the eight figures, three of them are not even real figures. There's like two AC figures and a micro build only leaving five like standard figures to army build. So that's a little strange, but now they've expanded it to six army building figures. And I don't know guys, I think Halo Infinite series two wins it for the day. I, that was pretty tough and you could tell that like not all of my decisions were final. I really love all of these figures, but I think Halo Series 2, when I first saw it announced, I was, you know, a tiny bit skeptical because it was so quickly after Infinite Series 1. The figures, I love how they're doing this sort of one shoulder matching the bottom pieces of the limbs, this covert ops. Elite is epic and this banished jackal is something that I really want to army build. When it comes to Infinite Series Series 3, I really hope that they hit hard with Brutes. I want to army build some Banished Brutes now. But other than that, guys, this is all of the figures from Series 1 and Series 2 of Halo Infinite Blind Bags. You gotta let me know in the comments down below, guys. Do you think I made the right call? Would you have thought that Series 1 was better than Series 2? And which are your standout figures from this series? I want the comments filled with discussion on this one, guys. And as always, have an amazing day out there. I'm gonna be giving away a Series 1 Blind Bag just to celebrate the holidays, just to celebrate the start of the new year and the start of like just an epic 2021 for the domain. If you would like to win this Blind bag. All you need to do is share your discussions and your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure you're subscribed with the bell on and like this video and then I'll pick one of the comments to win one of these figures. Halo Infinite is just around the corner and Mega Constructs knows that they're going to be hitting harder than ever with new releases in the upcoming year. See you next time guys and the Jackal is signing off. Wait, the Jackal signed off the last video. Okay, <laughs> they're all signing off, you know, guys. Infinite Series 1 and 2 are signing off. <laughs>